Coming up on this week's edition of Thunder Insider, we take a break from our regular roundtable discussion to bring you a special sit down as we go one on one with three of the Thunder's main men. It's a special edition of Thunder Insider and it's starting right now. Welcome into Thunder Insider from here at the Thunder Event Center, the former practice facility of your Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm Lessa McCaslin, joined by Grant Long. Well, Grant, Sam Presti calls these three guys the true stakeholders of the Thunder organization. Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and Nick Collison have been with this team since the beginning in 2008. And coming up, we're going to hear from all three of these guys in a special sit down that you did with them. But put into words what these three guys mean to the Thunder organization. Well, I think when you first talk about the three guys, you meant you have to think of hard work and what they've put in. This is a building that where it all started at, obviously. But this is the foundation. This is the place that the foundation that we see now with the Thunder organization. This is where it all started at for this group. And it started with these three players. So three good players, not just good players, great players that are pillars of this organization. Yeah, they've built a standard for the rest of the team going forward since back then in 2008. And of course, like I said, you got a chance to sit down with them and talk about their journey here in Oklahoma City. <laughs> with that no logo? <laughs> no logo, yeah. They need to, do, need to do a throwback jersey with that logo. Dang, I was all uh, skin and bones. Still are, bro. Wait, wait, look how big that jersey look on Kevin. So that was our first practice here, huh? Yep, that was our first practice. A lot of different faces. Like, do you remember how competitive our practice used to be that year? Like, we, I think the good thing about that year was we didn't dwell on how bad we were. Yeah. Um, but disappointing night, we would come in the next day. It seemed like we always um, got after. I think Scotty deserves a lot of credit for that, too. Yeah. He, his approach, he tried to uh, not let us dwell too much on our record because it was pretty bad and, and early was really tough but it was like we come right in the next day and, and get after it. And that's what you need to do when you're trying to rebuild and you got young guys, you need to look at each day, a game and a practice about the same. That's a lot of days, a lot of dark days with only three good days. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. And every win felt like a championship. Thinking back to those days, you really uh, realize like, you never want to take winning for granted though. Uh, thing about the NBA, you can't get too high or too low. We got a losing streak, we can't get, uh, like I said, too low. and. Um, you know, dread another loss. You got to be able to stay even keel. Same thing after a win. You get, you got to be able to come out the next night and do it again. The roller rink. I love that practice facility. You do? I don't know. It just, it feel like we. It's just like home. It still smells like dog food outside. It yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey, dude. laughs> That ain't changing. I don't think. We went to work in there. I think it was kind of fitting that we started in the skating rink, though. It was like we had to work our way up. Yeah, it, it kind it of fit. Like, yeah, it was just a place to go to work. It wasn't a lot of bells and whistles, yeah. but just, yeah, get in there and go to work. First game. Open the night. It was crazy how many fans we had. There. It was like, crazy. Were you surprised that it was a packed house? No, not at all. I think leading up to this game, you know, a lot of people was telling us how the fans were you know, what to expect. You know, obviously, it's my rookie year, so I didn't know what to expect about no NBA games. Just, you know, happy to be on the floor, but it was, uh, it was a good moment, even though we lost, but it was fun. I remember when Sam took over, I talked to him quite a bit, and um, he talked a lot about how um, he wanted to build a culture, and uh, that's like a phrase that's used a lot, but I didn't really understand what that meant, but it was, I think it was about building habits and how we're going to, uh, approach every day and um, it's not easy to do because it takes consistency and discipline and can't take shortcuts um, to try to get where you want to go. I think that's the thing about what he's tried to do is be he has principles and he's stuck by them so I just think that the way we went about our business um, had to change and we started doing it slowly but surely. Like Nick said the, the culture of the organization and and you know we stuck to it you know myself Kevin and, and Nick and you know, a lot of some other other guys as well deserve credit of sticking to the program, coming in every day, uh, getting better. A process of 
trying to find a way to, to, to get better as an organization, as a team. Well, one moment that sticks out to me is when we played in, uh, I don't know if these guys remember, we played in LA uh, our first year in Oklahoma City. I think we were like 22 and like 59, I think. And um, we played the Clippers on the road. And we, we had the game won. We was up by at least 30 in the fourth quarter. And I looked at the, on the bench and I heard Vinny, Bob Nani, one of our coaches, screaming our coverages in the fourth quarter. Like, it was, our season was over with. We didn't have anything to play for. You know, he was still calling our coverages, making sure guys were doing the right things. And that kind of spoke volumes to me. It spoke volumes to me saying that, you know, from, no matter what happens, we're going to be the same team. We're going to be consistent with our work ethic and how we prepare for games, how we approach games. And, you know, that's probably one of the, the moments that stuck out to me as a as a Thunder player, just knowing that we were considered the worst team ever, but we came in and worked hard on the stuff we need to work on for us to be a good team every single day, no matter what. And um, it stuck with us. Well, I just think that everything that's in place, um, we just have a way about us and a, a habit of how we work. And so I think it's easy. What I meant is it's easy for that player to to really see from the first day what's expected. And um, it's just much more clear now than, than it used to be. Hard to believe now that Kevin and Russell and Nick have actually been on the court at the same time together, Grant, in 354 games. And it has been a journey. It started here. You heard him joke about the Thunder Event Center, and it's been a long road since the very beginning. Talk about a long road. Remember that 3-29 and 29 start they suffered through. It all started right here, but they started to get better here. They earned the right to move to a new building where everything is state of the art. So the fact that they used to call this place a roller rink is now way behind this organization. And the fact that they've been able to get in and practice and put in the work and move to a different facility all, all speaks to the fact that this team is all about working hard and moving to the next level and getting better with each practice. Yeah, and you talk about 354 times just on the court together, how many games they've played, how many practices that they've sweat to, to get through together. It makes sense that they can kind of have some fun with each other now. There's a comfort level there. and. Coming up in part two, you're going to hear them talk about, well, the first time they met each other and their first impressions. Stick around. Part two is coming up next on Thunder Insider.